Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning Lines at Repentance World Trade Series. In the previous episode we played as Tinted Maggie and had a fantastic run. We are very much getting there with these characters. We've got a lot of them complete. We are we are getting there. We are getting there. But it's taking a bit of time. Um, what do we want to do next? What do we want to do next? Um, hmm. Tainted Jacob's still very tempting to me. But I, I really, I know that it means for you guys, you're not seeing Tinted Jacob and Lazarus for ages, but I really do want to wait for the update that reworks them a little bit before I go playing them again. Um, so maybe we'll do Lilith again? We haven't, we, we did Lilith pretty recently, but unfortunately the last time we played is that we had a, a pretty unfortunate run. Uh, Papafly isn't exactly the, uh, the greatest thing in the world to grab, but... We will take it. So, but yeah, we want to be doing um, Dark Path, ideally, and then uh, going to Delirium straight after, if that's possible. So we'll, we will try and do that. Uh, Black Heart there is fantastic. I'm going to just open both of these up straight away. Very, very worthwhile thus far. But yes, getting extra Black Heart here starts us off in a good spot. Of course, Jello, uh, little uh, Tinted Lilith with Jello here. Very, very strong off the bat. We know this already. Um, Going to be a pretty easy first few floors. But she does kind of drop off um, if you don't get your damage ups going. Uh, her whipping is good, but not the best when it comes to the late game. The, the good thing about it more than anything is it gives you some, some sort of guaranteed safety. I will bomb this as well, I think. I think that's going to be worthwhile. we got a key out of it anyways. We can buy whatever's in the shop, but unfortunately... It's terrible. Uh, what I will do, however, is I'll bomb this. And I will buy this. This is going to double up on our active item. I'm going to hold on to this in case we get something like Diplopia. Or anything one use, because then you can use it twice. Uh, it would be really good with like a forget-me-now or something. Obviously, it's not at all guaranteed that we're going to get anything that works with it. But it's worth holding on to in case we do. Secret room is a little hard to find here, I'd say. A uh, little hard to find. Can't be here. It's probably, probably just, like, down here next to the item room and this big room, like, right here. Let's try it out. We only got one bomb. Yeah, there you go. I kind of thought it would be. And we got some extra bombs out of it as well, which is fantastic. We'll see if we can get some more money here. Uh, sadly not. We'll leave the other bomb. And second secret room, I'm probably not going to look for this floor, but I will, however, go and um, finish off searching through our rooms here. Trying to whip up all of these fires that we can. Just because it's so easy to do with this character. It gains us a few extra pennies here and there. But yeah, again, I'm playing after just waking up early in the morning. It's just a good way to start the day, isn't it? Like, before I... Basically, the, the job that I do, I, I, get, I work from home. And I work with a lot of people, like, in other countries. Which means that our working hours are just kind of, like, whenever. Because it's very hard for everyone to be working at the same time. So... I get to start my day with an Isaac run and then go to doing some work after. It's, it's a pretty nice setup, really. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, keep this guy at bay for a minute. There you go. Try and kill this guy while we're behind some rocks or something. Little Steven here. Of course, not the greatest, but yeah, it's, it's, it's somewhat helpful. Let's go down. We've got plenty of money here to take a look at um, getting ourselves some nice things from the shop this floor. Hopefully, we get something a little better than Little Baggy. I don't think I've ever um, intentionally bought Little Baggy from a shop, to be honest. Um, ooh, Maggie's Faith is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, oh, that spawns uh, two extra bombs for each bomb placed. That's pretty good. Like... That's pretty good, right? Uh, it allows you to um, to cover more, like have a big, bigger explosive radius, use bombs a little more offensively. I don't know if it means by two more, if it means you you place two bombs or you place one with two additional bombs. I'm guessing that's what it means. That's what it sounds like it means. But that's actually pretty darn useful. Um, I can I can certainly see the merit in that. But at the same time, Maggie's faith is kind of incredible. Uh, Tech Zero, I really don't think Tech Zero does much for us, but it is rather nice. Ooh, baby. When you talk like that, you make a woman go mad. I'm going to grab that. Grab the... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do the reverse Emperor straight away here. We'll fight a boss from the next floor. We'll make sure we're not doing it on any floors where it's going to be uh, crashing our game, giving us soft locks, because I know that can happen. That was a, a very good little blood splat you managed to do there, sir. 
He is a bit healthy, but luckily this is a character that has a good amount of uh, base DPS. But this is probably one of the worst bosses and champion versions of said bosses that we could get. Because as you can see, um, he is just very healthy and has some really mean attacks. Mainly that rock spike one that he just did. Tixir is actually not doing too bad for us here. I'm actually quite happy with it. I'm going to grab that as well. And we leave. We come back to this floor. That was pretty good. Uh, so really now we're, we're in the market for a, an active item that can not only work with question mark card, but also works very well with car battery. So yeah, we're definitely in the market for something like that. But as you saw there, fighting Mega Fight, even though we have great damage, it still wasn't that impressive. Um, we were still falling off a little bit. Extra bomb there. It's lovely for this little fella. Extra soul heart. Health is looking very nice right now. This room's not too bad. Yeah, actually, I, I, I take it back. I think Tech Zero is actually doing a pretty good job right now. Okay, this is an annoying boss. But luckily, we have more than enough damage to absolutely destroy it. Squeezy there is fantastic. Um, I'm, tr I'm debating... Devil Deal could be good, but I'm pretty sure last time we had a bad run with Lilith, it was specifically because we went Devil Deal. So let's let's leave it this time and go Angel. I'm I'm in a sort of situation where I have a little bored of going Angel Deals all the time, but at the same time, the items from Angel Deals are still quite fun. But I would like to see some Devil Deal items. There is quite a lot of them that I'm uh, that I'm very fond of, like Twisted Pear, things like that, that would be. Just really, really, really cool to see that we haven't seen in quite a long time. Okay, this isn't too bad of a room for these fellas. Good. good. Uh, secret room-wise, where do we think? Probably. Um, it can't be this room, can it? No. Probably just across from here. Let's try that out. Yeah, there you go. Uh, getting a lot better at finding those as of late. And do you know what? I'll open this as well. Yes, it was worthwhile. Good. And we shall bomb you. Hoping for the coupon there, but sadly we didn't get it. Um, we'll see if we can buy the, the mum's key here. Mum's key is really, really good. I mean, for one, it gives you um, two keys, which is a pretty good value anyways. Um, and obviously opening chest is more valuable. Doesn't mean that I probably should have leave, left that golden chest until. But I, I, I don't think we'd be able to afford it without that. So I think, I think it works out. But yes, we are going dark path here, aren't we? Um, we'll get the trinket for doing that. And yeah, like I said, if we'd have got coupon, I'd have definitely gone into that devil deal. But I think the fact that we didn't, obviously it's a low play, but low chance of getting it. But that would have been a reason for me to go there. But I think now we're just going to move on normally. One thing I do wonder, by the way, when we used that emperor card there, it took us to caves as well. And we're on caves now. Uh, catacombs, sorry, not caves. It took us to catacombs as well. Um, does it know the floor that you're about to get? Or does it just pick one randomly? Or is it always just going to give you catacombs or caves? Like, is, is, I, don't, I don't know exactly how that works. Okay, this is a good room. We'll definitely crack all these open. Chests at this point, even brown chests, are very, very worth opening for us. Tears up is fantastic here. I whip my baby back and forth. Health down. Health down is bad, but not as bad as you might think. Because for one, it means we know there's a health up pill available. And for two, we have Maggie's Faith, and it's virtually impossible for us to lose our Eternal Hearts. So, it's that, considering we're not taking Devil Deals, I really think that losing that HP isn't very impactful on the run as a whole. Let's crack this open. Especially when we're getting extra items. Mini Mush is also very good here. The speed up is very, very necessary. And the soul heart, very welcome. Um, this is definitely an XL floor, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, this floor is a bit too big to not be. Do you know what? It's not the greatest, but it is an active item at least. We are going to be able to use this thing for damage or free bombs. I think that has some merit to it. And it does indeed throw out two bombs. When it's a double room like this, there is literally no reason to not use your active items because it's going to get fully charged upon using it. That's a good item. It gives you um, mum items for a single room. Can give you mum's knife, but I don't think it's what we need right now. I'm just going to pop this there. Why not? Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, but that really... It could be terrible, but it 
also could give us error room. Ah, fuck it. Let's try it. Let's try it. If we get battery charges, we can get error rooms fairly regularly. I think error rooms can be quite useful. Just got to make sure not to use them on specific floors. Certain floors, it's not it's not a good thing to have. And while Mr. Boom is good, it's, this is potentially better. Just whatever we do, don't use it before the end of the floor, before we've seen all the special rooms we want to see. Because it can take you to... Um, it can take... Oh, speed down. That's okay. That speed's fine. Um, it can take you to the Iron Arrow room and make you have to skip a bunch of stuff. So, not great on that front. We're looking for our shop still here. Uh, we have good money, so shop would make sense right about now. And we're looking for extra chests. Can't believe I managed to dodge that guy's attack then. Got out of the way of the creep by just a hair. Mmm, secret room, secret room. Where might you be? Probably here. Could very easily be here. Sadly, it is not. Um, I'm not particularly sure at the moment. Could be off of this room somewhere, to be honest. Um, we've still got quite a lot of this floor left, to be honest. Good stuff. Right, what we need at the minute is the, another damage upgrade. Our damage is good, but it's gonna start falling off in the next two or three floors. As you can see, we're, we're no longer one-shotting things, and I know that the margin for success really shouldn't be having to one-shot things, but this is a character that has the potential to one-shot. You want to make sure that you're one-shotting when possible. Grab, grab, grab. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, yes, yeah, second item room. I completely forgot that was going to exist. Okay, this guy being able to move the barrel kind of scared the shit out of me then, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let's pop in here. Woohoohoo! Quad shot. Awesome. Quad shot, of course, does lower our fire rate, which is kind of bad. Because uh, the whipping is based on fire rate, which is not good. It's probably overall kind of a damage down. But, but, the good thing is, it does mean that Tech Zero has a bit more of a impact, I think. It's kind of a weird one. It's it's a damage downgrade overall, but it's got the potential to be a big damage upgrade. I think that's kind of the way of phrasing it. We need tears up really badly if we want to make this work. That's 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 definitely one thing that we need. On this, no secret room there. Okay, good. And yeah, we'll open that up as well. Basically, every chest is going to pay out with more than we paid to get the chest most of the time. So, most of the time it's going to be worth it. Right. Let's go. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit meh about the quad shot pickup. It's very good, but it has some downsides. It has some pretty serious downsides. Like, not being able to whip very quickly is obviously the, the major one. But we are dealing quite a lot of damage with our tears. I mean, also, we could just do this and leave her out. But I, I feel like that's, like, not really the player with this character, basically, ever. Uh, speedball. It's fine. Okay, we've got a double trouble boss here. Luckily, it's not a hard double trouble boss. I think I did manage to hit Ragged there. Yeah, I did, good. And we did get an Angel deal. We even got HP up plus tears. Very, very good. Our Angel deal. This is kind of a tough one. I think we go Godhead, because uh, Holy Knight's really good, but I think we go Godhead because it means the aura is better. It also means that we have Herming, which makes Tech X a little better. And then I think we pop this. We did not get Error Room, so we pop that. We did not get Error Room, and um, so we pop it again. And I do believe it's random, so we could just get teleported to a secret room again. But we'll try and charge this bad boy up one more time. We do also have a battery charge in the shop, should we um, should we be able to get that. But having this guy here is very useful. We don't have a lot of money, but I'm willing to uh, go kind of hard on this guy. There you go. Pop it again. Yep, there you go. So we can get te teleported to both, um, both of our item rooms. And, sorry, yeah, both of our item rooms, both of our uh, special secret rooms, and our... Thingy room. I am error room. Kind of an open book for us at the minute, really. Let's go back over here and spend a bit more money on this guy. Liking our speed up as well. Our speed up is really nice here. What am I doing? What am I doing? 
going to be a lot of money, but I think it's worthwhile. The error rooms can be super valuable. They can also be terrible. I will admit that, like, there's a chance that it's not worth anything to us. But I I've seen error rooms that have multiple items in them. Come on. One more payout. There you go. Oh, really? Come on now. Um, okay. And last try. Back. See, this is the problem with missing no. It's like, is it missing no? It's, no, it's undefined, isn't it? There's a problem with undefined. It's like, it's just a gamble. You just, you just got to get lucky. And this time we didn't. Anyways, let's make our way down to the next floor. We're, we're feeling good where we're sitting now. We're feeling good. And we shall carry on. Let's see if we can get something good going on. Maggie's Faith still helping out immensely. But yeah, have it, having now the homing to make sure we always hit everything with our um, tears makes this quad shot pick up a lot less annoying. A lot less annoying. Obviously, I'd still like tears up. I'd still, I still think tears up would be very, very helpful. Um, but it's not as necessary as it once was. Before, it was kind of like a must to make sure we succeed. Now, it's just kind of like... It would be ideal. That and a damage up would also, that would also be good as well. I kind of do want to use the sun card here. Sad Bombs. Stole my undefined charge. Sad Bombs isn't very good, but at the same time. I wish I had the, the Blast Cap, whatever it was called from before. The the Ring, whatever it was called, that made, made me place triple bombs. That would be amazing with this setup. Yeah, I do kind of want to use the sun card here. I'm going to use it in this big room here so we get some damage for it. There you go. Not a lot of damage, but enough to, to kill one chub significantly quicker. Get over here. My god, I'm just kind of firing and hoping for the best. It's actually working quite well, to be honest. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, so it would be ideal, really, that a better a better idea to use Undefined early to try and get as much charges as possible. But if you get unlucky and get the error room first... Then you miss out on your item room, your bosses, and potentially other stuff. It's just, it's not a very good idea. What the hell is this room? I don't like it. Extra money. Did we uh, have the opportunity to check in here? We did. Again, check the uh, chests, because they basically have the guaranteed chance of paying out. And we got a golden penny from this one. Very nice. And uh, this could give us fire rate. In fact, it has to. Yeah. I was going to say fire rate is like the only thing it can give us, because it's our lowest stat. But yes, now, now really is the floor where our damage has subsided. The good thing is, um, Godhead has a flat aura damage now. It got it got nerfed, but the nerf is actually a buff if you have low damage because you um, you just get flat aura damage. You don't have to have high damage for Godhead to do high damage. So Godhead is actually proportionally better than it would otherwise be for us right now. God damn, the money is just breaking in right now. So as you can see, Godhead is doing a fantastic job. Uh, Lard? Lard, I don't actually think Lard's worth picking up. That's a pretty big speed down considering we're gonna be getting HP anyways. And while we're not taking devil deals, we don't need all the extra HP. I mean, this is just a great take. I very much do need a better active item to work with, um... To work with car battery, though. I'm hoping we get one soon. Because this this one's, like, good, but... Eh. I probably should have left 9-volt, um, actually, to charge our active again. Another speed down. Thank you, game. There you go. Get in there with them. Bunch of extra bombs. And this is Necro 1. War. What is it good for? That was a good hit, War. I'll give you that one. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. So one thing I'm seeing that we definitely do need is spectral tears would be really nice. Not ha um, not having to lose tears while shooting over rocks would be great. Let's pop in here. That's actually really good. That's a damage upgrade and health and we get the aura. Oh, I don't know how the aura works. Oh. Interesting. It just seems to be firing extra tears every now and again. I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, let's use this bad boy. Sadly, nothing. Uh, I can't remember if our shop had a battery charge, but we'll check. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting quite unlucky with Undefined at the minute. Undefined is just one of those items that, eh. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. 
Sometimes you get teleported to the item room twice in a row. It, I swear, I do swear, it does actually take you to the error room sometimes. It's, it sounds like it's just something that I've made up. Because <laughs> it's really not coming to fruition right now. But I do swear that is how it works. I'm going to grab some bombs here. Uh, since we've got sad bombs, I think it's worthwhile. I mean, our sad bombs right now look pretty fucking good. Um, right, we carry on going down. Remember to take the negative on this next floor here. I hope we get the chance to fight Delirium here. This run's not quite capable of Delirium yet, but with some extra floors uh, worth of loot, I think it could be. Got them two guys. Good, good. Got my little dip friend with me here. I'm just going to gamble on a secret room being here. I'm going to use the golden bomb first, actually. Just because it's a thingy room. What's it called? Uh, mob, uh, boss trap. So we might as well just check every wall at this point anyways. Golden sad bombs look so good. Boom. Rotten heart. Great stuff. Let's just bomb everything, because why not? Tinted rock here as well anyways. Almost missed that. Case of darkness. Does make it kind of hard to see though sometimes. You know what? We got enough HP. Let's pop in here. With that chest over. We got a devil teleport. Piercing plus godhead is too good to pass up on. I know that this fucks our angel chances, but we don't actually need our angel chances anymore. And we're, we're good on HP. And yeah, godhead plus uh, this is really good. Also, as you can see, death's head has a soft synergy where it makes your godhead aura just fucking enormous. Which is great. I <laughs> uh, got a lot of money there. Bomb here. <laughs> That's pretty mega. That's pretty mega. Okay, so sad bombs is going to be the way to go this time, I think. Oopsie, did not mean to bomb you, sir. Do not be angry at me. I apologize, you big fuck. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. I like that. I gotta say, I like that. We got ourselves a hero font card as well. Okay, things are looking great right now. Our oh, tears up pills really good here. <laughs> and then we can just go whip, boom. Tears up pills very very useful right now. Pop in here. Um, Ares is really really good, preventing contact damage. Uh, chance to deal two fires, the block enemy shots to deal contact damage. Max is four times your damage. I think we'll take that. Ares is good, but we don't really have a, a build that supports Ares right now. Or that needs to support Ares, should I say. God damn. We have some good stuff going on right now. Please tell one of these is a luck penny. I want more fires. I don't even know if the chili pepper, um, the bird's eye one scales with luck. I don't think it does, but still. <laughs> oh, this is great. Extra black heart there, thank you. Isn't this a sexy, sexy run? Trying to find our secret rooms, but I don't really know where it could be. I've not been looking everywhere, to be honest, so... There it is. Some of these keepers do be looking funky. An extra pennies there. And yeah, we've seen pretty much all of this floor so far. So let's hope Undefined gives us something good this time. Uh, oh wait, no. We don't want to use Undefined on this floor because it'll take us to the wrong floor, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember, actually. It might. I'm just going to not risk it. Oh, the... No, because it has to take us to the womb, right? It has to take us to the womb. We just got to make sure to do our mum fight first. Yeah, I, th I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, we got Dry Baby just then. I just left the room, but then noticed right. What the hell just hit me? Hello. Thank you, Dry Baby. For being the driest boy around. Um, Secret room. <laughs> this is so hard to find. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, so we go we go fight the boss. 
We, we can't make a boss rush, unfortunately. We go negative here. We come in here. Oh, we've seen that already. We grab that. And let's use this. Yeah, because we, we, we've got charges about, so we should be fine. Go over here and grab this. And that's why we do it. And that's why we do it. Revelation isn't great for us. Because we have to charge it. But honestly, I actually think it works quite well with the Herming and everything. But yeah, that is that is why we do it, people. That is why we do it. I believe I am error rooms can take from literally any room pool, so... Yeah. Pretty, pretty good going, I'd say. Pretty good going. <laughs> I love those sad bombs. It's so good. Um... Go and do this room over here. Because, yeah, normal rooms we can just do a few whippy whips. But then, um, rooms that are a bit more involved. Or bosses, we can do the hold like this. <laughs> that's so good. And also, we can charge it up in preparation for entering a room, too. If we'd like. I Just get it ready like this now. And then just start whipping again. Yeah, that works out quite well. And again... Shoop the Whoop. Okay, I think now we take Shoop the Whoop. It's going to activate twice when we use it, which I think works, and it's going to have a one-room charge. I feel like that's pretty good. Anything else we need to do with her? No, just, just go Dark Path. I really hope we get Delirium here. Honestly, should we just go Delirium? We can definitely make Delirium. I kind of think we just go delirium. We don't we don't really need to be doing that, do we? I know that I just took damage for no reason there, but we can fly back over here. I keep forgetting we've got flight as well, honestly. Revelation's so overpowered. I swear, if Revelation doesn't get nerfed with the next update, I'm gonna be surprised. It's it's so insanely powerful. But yeah, I kind of I kind of think that we go and do um we go and do delirium now just just because we're already set like we can definitely do delirium with the run that we currently have here like easily as well and another tears up is fantastic here it's a really good tears up as well yeah i think we definitely do delirium i think it makes the most sense Don't know what pill this is. I'm not going to take it, just in case. Just look at that. That is why. Revelation, you the best. You the best. Make sure I actually make it to the, the hush fight. We have enough keys for the hush fight as well. Good. Because that's another thing as well. We could end up getting some really good stuff from the hush fight. Like, imagine if we get, like, Book of Shadows or something. Glass Cannon... Do you know what? I'll play this, but I'm not going to play it for too long. I don't actually want Glass Cannon. I just want to see what's underneath it. Analog Stick's great here. Go for it. We're at 25 minutes right now. We'll, we want to be leaving with at least 30 cents here, just so we can do stuff on our shop. Nice one. And Battery. I don't think Battery actually matters. Unfortunately, not very good tears up. Let's go. Yeah, I'm in love with this run. I'm in love with this run. I am a lucky bastard. A lucky bastard is what I am. Like, we literally basically just hold fire in every room and everything dies without us really attending. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Good, good. You're dead. Push fight. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Fuck it. We're just gonna go for it. <laughs> go and do void. It's it's way way more um more important as a, of an unlock. Stapler here is fantastic. Nice damage, you. Um, Loki's horns, I guess. Slap a few of these down.
check what's in here. Fanny pack, I guess. A card, justice. Check what's in here. That's pretty good. Just five extra damage, that's all. If you're wondering why I'm bombing these, by the way, it's because it has a really high chance that one of these rocks is a crawl space. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. But yeah, I think we're good to go here. We got a lot and a lot of damage just off of this floor. Lucky's horn's kind of interesting here as well. We also get the fires every now and again that block shots. We're going to be throwing bombs in there as well, by the way. Because if you didn't know, um, bombs actually don't... Um, like they completely ignore boss armor. Only the bomb damage, not the um, not the tier damage. But it's still... We, we don't really need the bombs for much else. So throwing bombs in there is a really like decent way to get through his boss armor. What the hell? Okay. I was like, why are all the enemies red? Then I realized it's just because I'm doing permanent damage to them with Godhead. But this is, this is the situation in which the Godhead nerf falls off. We have absolutely gigantic Godhead auras with high damage, but we're not actually dealing any more damage with Godhead than we would be normally. This is fucking horrible, this attack right now. But as you can see, we're absolutely destroying him. Getting Revelation in there. Getting that in there when we can. Whipping bombs towards him whenever possible. Good stuff. Get another one of them in there. Another one of them in there. Yeah, you can see the bombs are just doing insane damage to him. And we have got him. Very, very easy hush fight. Very, very easy hush fight indeed. Let's go and do Void. We are we are very ready. I We could still lose Delirium. Remember, Delirium's a bullshit boss full of crap. So we could still lose to the layer room here, but I feel like we've got a good chance at least right now. Let's just hope we visit a good amount of boss rooms prior to fighting him. So that, was that luck penny? It is. So that we can get ourselves some additional items. I know we have Shoop here and we're not really using it because it's a, it's a one room charge, but honestly our damage is far superior to Shoop's. Oh, damn it. Did not see that enemy being a champion. Look out for tinted rocks. We want to get our health back if possible. We'll blow up those, um... We'll blow up this as well. Just in case of black hearts. Whoopsie. None of you decided to fire. I really like the Immaculate Heart with Godhead, by the way. It's really fun having the um, tears orbit around us. Also, Immaculate Heart is going to be really good for the Delirium fight, because we're going to absorb some of his bullets every now and again. This might be him, but I'm just going to go for it. No, it's below. Easy, easy. Um, We do know that there's a tears uphill, so I'm going to say it's worth it for that reason alone. We're at max tears, unfortunately. Not taking any of the rest of them. Tears up is all I care about. God damn. I, I do like the fact, one thing I will say about the uh, the Delirium floor, is I do like the fact that all the enemies are champions. Especially with the new color si coloring system in Repentance, it just looks really pretty. Nice. Um, plus five keys. Throw your keys to deal damage. Destroy obstacles. Um, have a chance to spawn... The contents of a chest, including items. We don't need keys anymore, so that is tempting, but I don't think it's, like, going to be very good for Delirium himself. I think Shoop would be better. Shoop does, like, 14 times your damage, so it's pretty good stuff. If we get, like, a bunch of keys before we go, if we're on, like, if we're on, like 60 or something, then I'd consider it, but we're only on, like, 9. 10 now. 11. Maybe, maybe it'll happen. Maybe if every single room gives us keys. <laughs> it really wants me to take it. Oh, we got, um... Akalagala, whatever it's called. This is actually a decent item. Um... I think this is definitely better than what we currently have right now. We can pick up hearts and get ourselves, um... Additional items. Additional spiders and stuff. Not items. Okay. 
Nice. We are just destroying right now. Yeah, getting getting extra um, spiders and flies and stuff is really nice here. Half soul heart there is very useful. And a turtle heart there is intriguing. It is these situations where I'm a little sad that I've got rotten hearts though. Like, rotten hearts can be kind of dangerous for this. Another soul heart there. Again, this could be him, but we're just going to go for it. It is. Okay, so just... We can't really see is a kind of a, a small problem that we have right now. But we are dealing insane damage to him right now. I just noticed how fucking crazy our damage is. Okay, that's that's blow. I was like, what the hell hit me then? And I just realized, oh, that's his brimstone. Uh, he did a glitch. Mum's foot coming in. While he's in this form, by the way, he has no boss armor. While he's in his, like, true delirium form. Right, we are getting onto the really bad amount of health right now situation. Which scares me. But luckily we've got homing. So basically we just stay, stay at one side of the screen and focus on not getting hit. We don't have to... Like, but it's, it's one of the greatest things about homing on this fight specifically. You just don't have to worry about actually hitting him. But there you go. We, we absolutely destroyed him. Delirium defeated. What a brilliant little run we got here. Revelation kind of saved the day. Um, but we, we already had a relatively saved day. And we have unlocked Jello. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Another Delirium um, tick mark done. And I'll see you guys in the next one.